Welcome everyone to Boxing Scene's Top Stories. I am George DiMatellis here on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. Long form content continues with the ranking show where we, they talk about the most recent episode, what's going on at 154. And you can listen to Top Stories audio form where podcasts are available. We got the champions in alphabetical order by the last name. We got Chris Algieri and we got Pauli Malinaji joining us here on Top Stories. All right, former world champion Tim Zhu is headed right back into the ring after that bloody narrow loss to Sebastian Fandora, fighting for the IBF belt against Bakram Murtazaliev, October 19th in Orlando. And Tim Zhu is talking about being very active, fighting four times a year. He wants to fight four times a year. How refreshing is it, Chris, that an elite fighter like Zhu wants to be so active? Man, I really like Tim Zhu, and, and for a lot of reasons. One, he walks the walk. Two, he talks the talk. You know, and he fights the fight. He wants to fight everybody. He was willing to jump right into the Victor Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, excuse me, Vir Virgil Ortiz match right after he loses his title against Fandora um, in, in controversial fashion. You know, the guy is willing to take these risks, take these chances. He wants the best fights in the world. He is super talented, one of the best guys at 154, which is becoming a, it's a very, very deep weight class and showing itself to be that. And uh, he's willing to, to, to go right ahead and, and, and fight the best of the best right now. And I love that. The fact that he's getting a title fight after what I think was a raw deal, the way that that fight with Fondora turned out, I think is a good sign. You know, he's he's not worried about what else, what else is going on. He's getting right back to work, right into a big fight, no tune-ups, uh, coming off a layoff, coming off an injury, right into a world title fight against a tough undefeated guy. So uh, I appreciate the way that Tim Zhu has been moving and handling his career. And, I, you know, the, you could tell this is the kind of guy that he was just based on what he was saying. He was just saying all the right things in all his interviews. He wants to carve his own path. Yes, he has a fantastic last name uh, uh, for one of the best fighters that, uh, of a generation. But he wants to carve his own path and be his own man. Uh, so I really appreciate that aspect about him as well. And on top of that, it's just a fantastic fighter. So I'm looking forward to him getting back in the ring and being active. And four times a year, I'm all for it. Hopefully he can stay healthy and we can see that. You know, Tim Zhu is one of those fighters. He's a bit of a kind of a throwback where, you know, you don't you, you, you see fighters. They say, oh, I want to I want all the smoke. I want to fight all of the best fighters. But you don't really <laughs> see that all the time. You see these fighters kind of start nitpicking. And and yeah, even if they have a busy schedule, they'll they'll tiptoe around their best threat or their biggest threat. Tim Zhu has kind of been the kind of guy who's sort of been living it. He's been saying it. He's been he's been speaking it. he's been living it. And he's the kind of guy who's been wanting to uh, take on the best. And I think that the fact that he took on Fondoro and as a last minute replacement after training for Thurman, you know, he kind of showed that there was nobody he wasn't willing to step in with if you challenge him. And the fact that he was willing to take on Virgil Ortiz, like the champ Chris said, uh, right off the loss and the injury, again, shows that there was nobody he's not willing to step in with. Typically, fans and media like to say, oh, they, they, we got the losses don't matter. These kind of fighters, we got to, you know, these are the fighters the way the fighters always should behave. That's actually wrong. And then you see Tim Zhu's an example of that. He's been wanting everything. He got screwed out of his title, in my opinion. And now he's got to kind of start over again. But wanting to fight four times a year and, and wanting to give us the best fights is a great start for us. Whether Where it's going to bring Tim Zhu, we'll see. You know, he's going to – because he's going to continue to chase the, the the best possible opposition. Now, nobody wants to see Tim Zhu in a title fight more than me, man. I've, I've been singing his praises. I think he's the class of the 154-pound division in a lot of ways. But – you can't really fight for a world title coming off a loss. These sanctioning bodies, they make the rule, they break the rule, they make the, they enforce the rule when they want to, they break the rule whenever they want to. It's, you know, no matter what, how much I feel that he got a raw deal in the fight with Fondora, and, you know, he, he still ended up being an L on his record. So he's supposed to be wanting, he's supposed to necessitate getting a win in between this. But, hey, man, all's well that ends well, right? We, we change the rules when we need to. It's not the first time we're going to see it. It's not going to be the last time we're going to see it. So, uh, if Tim Zhu gets uh, gets in there against Muratalia, which is a solid fight, uh, I, I can't say I'll be complaining, but rules are rules, and they should be enforced all the time. Yeah, Tim Zhu was supposed to be fighting Erickson Lubin, but that fight did not take place. And we will talk to Erickson Lubin live here on Pro Box TV next week to get his take as to why that fight between himself and Tim Zhu did not take place. So t stay tuned for that here on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. All right, champs, thanks for your time here on Top Stories. And don't forget to scan the QR code and check out the best live fight series in all of boxing, Wednesday Night Fights, another edition coming up August 21st here on your boxing channel. I'm George DiMatellis. Thank you for watching Boxing Scenes Top Stories. Wednesday Night Fights.
Dynamite action on Wednesday Night Fights every other Wednesday on your boxing channel. Coming up on your next Wednesday Night Fights, August 21st, former Unified World Champion Swift Jarrett Hurd takes on former Unified World Champion Jason Banana Rosario. Live from the ProBox Event Center in Plant City. Get your tickets at ProBoxTV.com or take your chances at the door. Wednesday Night Fights. For more ProBox TV, scan the QR code on the screen or go to the App Store and Google Play. ProBox TV, your boxing channel.